For the most part, many of the opportunities that have landed on my plate have been as a result of reaching out to other creatives and businesses. Knowing how to reach out is one of the most important skill sets that you can have as an upcoming filmmaker. If you haven't learned how to reach out, this is one of the more important skills that you need to develop as a creative. This isn't something that comes naturally for me as an introvert, but I am a business owner of one and the only way this business is going to make money is if I actively work on it and go find new clients. Meaning connecting with other creatives and businesses that need videos. Reaching out has opened doors for me to travel and do work in different countries, you know, get in meetings with major label companies, uh, music label companies, and discussing ideas and potential projects. It's helped me get on major music video sets and, you know, shoot BTS for big artists and even land my first TV commercial spot as a DP. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips and I hope you find these helpful. Number one is have a go-giver mindset. If you haven't read the book, The Go-Giver, I would encourage you guys to go check it out. I have a link down below, but um, it gave me a lot of insight on just kind of the philosophy of what it means to be a type of um, you know, creative that's more giving and is less about taking, especially upfront when you're getting to meet new people, new clients, or reaching out to people. You know, you're the one that has something to gain in this relationship and going into it with a mindset of like, hey, I wanna help out. If you guys have any, um, you know, any gigs that you need assisting on, if you have any videos, you know, that you may need some um, feedback on or just like I can offer my um, assistance in any way, I'm available to do that. And ultimately the book is just mainly about the more giving that you do within your work, with your creativity, the more you're able to receive. So I definitely encourage you guys to go read that. When you're reaching out to a potential client or a production company or a creative person that you want to work with, you have to keep in mind that, you know, this person doesn't really know you or really care that much about you. Um, that's just a reality. Um, and you're reaching out and asking for work from them. You have to realize that you're the one who has something to gain in this relationship. So you gotta give value to them. Don't ask them to go watch every single video you've ever worked on or look at your entire portfolio and ask for feedback. Don't ask, hey, what gear do you shoot on? Or you know, what light did you use in that video? Or how did you meet this specific client? What's that lens you have? It's okay to leave them your work, you know, maybe you're real, but don't be demanding. When I'm talking about giving value, you know, what does that actually look like? If there's a brand that you want to work with you know maybe pitching ideas will be a great place to start if it's a production company that you really respect and you look up to them you know offer your specific skill sets such as you know camera assisting um, camera operating um, shooting BTS being a grip on set or just PAing. you know if it's a creative person maybe potentially just doing a passion project together my next tip is to keep it brief you don't want to be sending an encyclopedia of information that's irrelevant no one really cares or has enough time to read through everything that you're emailing them. I personally hate receiving long ass emails that I'm fighting to follow and pay attention to. You know, think of it similar to receiving a physical piece of letter. You know, short and brief kind of gets the message across. If it's too long, you don't always want to be reading through the entire thing, especially if you're getting a ton of emails every day. Try to say the most with as few words as possible. I'm sure you feel like you want to be telling your entire life story, how you got into video, how you're passionate about it, but you know, you can actually save that for a meeting um, or a phone call or a lunch that you might be able to schedule just through sending this email. Also, a reminder again, it's hard for people to care about you when they don't really know you. You know, it's just the truth, especially when you're reaching out to them and asking for work. So just keep that in mind. The next tip would be to be thankful and just talk about how much they've inspired you. You have to put your ego to the side and offer value to the person. You have to remember that there's a person on the other side reading these emails. So you have to make them personal. Crack a joke, you know, Know, don't be annoying but just like if you've seen some work they've done or something that you're inspired by or if the company has a product that you really like you know talk about it be intentional with the words that you use next thing to keep in mind is that relationships you know take months and years to develop it's not gonna happen overnight when you reach out to someone you need to build trust and they need to like you and get to know you people hire creatives who they know like and trust Always keep that in mind. A few other bonus tips I would just give you guys is don't have typos, check your grammar, 
have a good subject line that's eye-catching, make it simple, you know, a few sentences is all it takes, nothing complicated, and then leave your contact info and add those appropriate links that you want, if it's your reel, your portfolio, your website, um, just somewhere in the middle, you know, as you grow as a creative, your portfolio grows, so you have to be always upping your game, kind of reaching that next level in your career, because you know, let's be practical and say if you had a nine to five job, you'd be doing the same thing. You wanna be always working up to a better project, better quality with everything you do. So here's just like a brief email template that I've used in the past and it's been practical and helpful for me to get more work. Hey, you know, insert the person's name, Bob, Joe, Jill, Jacqueline. Congrats on the, you know, insert the project that you're inspired by and the thing that, you know, love about their work. Just talk a little bit about yourself. I'm a, you know, national based DP and city cam operator, uh, work with a lot with, you know, a handful of these people that, you know, you're able to connect them with that director you're reaching out to. I've heard your name come up over conversations, been following you on socials and thought I should just reach out and connect with you. Uh, what else? You can say, I'd love to buy you a lunch, you know, dinner, happy hour grab a drink and just get to know one another um, if you think there's some opportunities for us to work together in this upcoming season. Either way, I'm stoked for all things happening in your career. Um, look forward to seeing more of your projects that you're working on, you know, keep up the amazing work. And then you can just have a link for your DP Reel your website and just say thanks looking forward to hearing back from you you know super brief and simple it doesn't have to be over complicated but you have to do that a lot you can't expect everyone to be responding to you a lot of times people are busy or maybe they don't jail with your work and they may not respond and you, you can't take that personally you know we're in this business to make money and it's a for-profit business so sometimes if you're not a good fit you're not a good fit you're not ready for the job and a little hard to hear but that just like pumps me up to just do better work and um, be able to prove them wrong down the road as well but i hope you found these tips helpful i have the template of the email down below um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video and comment your other thoughts as well and i'll see you guys on the next one